Okay, let's take a look at the mini laser distance meter. That thing is ridiculously tiny. So you see we got our laser there on the front. It looks like it is a class two laser. It is a micro USB port on the back. It looks like a tether spot on the side. It does come with a micro USB to USB A cable. I mean, just look at that. Look how big that is in comparison even to the cable. This thing is tiny. The reason that could be good for me is if I want to throw this thing in a toolbox, I don't have to worry about taking up much real estate. But look at that. So you've got a backlit display. So you can see right here, it is going to be measuring from the rear of the device. So if you want to measure, you want to put this thing up against a wall, that will measure from the wall forward. If you want to change that reference, we're going to press the function button for about one second. Now that is going to measure from the front of the device. Right now it is in meters, so if you want to change the units, then we have to shut it down. So I'm going to press and hold the power button. And then to turn it on, I'm going to press and hold the main button. I'm going to hold it down for about two seconds. Now we are in feet. So it looks like it won't switch again, so I'll just shut it off again. We'll do the same thing. And now it is in inches, and now it is in meters. So we got feet, inches, and meters. The power off button also turns the backlight on and off. So if you just want to take a measurement, we just press the button, and we got a measurement. You can also do a continuous measurement just by holding the button. So whatever distance that becomes, it will update automatically. It actually updates pretty quickly as well, which is excellent. Oh, that's cool. So we don't have to hold the button down. Neat. So if we quickly press the function button, we can do square area. So if we want to measure the square footing of a room, we can just measure one, measure the other. So the first measurement was 8.8, .8, then we had 8.4, and the square area was 0.515 feet. If we hit it again, we can get cubic area. So I'll measure one, and I'll measure the other side, and then I can measure overhead. So we got our three measurements there, and that is our cubic footing for that room. But it doesn't end there. We got a whole bunch of things. So we got Pythagorean theorem. We can get that in the same way. So we'll take measurement one, measurement two, and now we have the length from one point to the other. Now this one's actually pretty cool. So this can find the measurement of a wall. So for example, maybe you have a large object and you need to find out how tall it is, but there's nothing overhanging the top of it that you can really measure underneath from. So right here, I'm just following the instructions, the flashing line. So that's saying point to the top of the object. Now it's saying point straight at it. And now it's saying point down to the bottom of it. So there we go. Now we know the total length of the wall is 33.9 inches. So very cool. And it looks like this one actually has a one more measurement mode. So if we have a wall and we want to measure from the top to a point in the middle of it, but we only have the distance of the total wall, we have the subtraction function. So first I'll measure to the base, then I'll measure straight at the wall, and then I'll measure the midpoint. And there we go. We have got that measurement. All I got left is check it for accuracy. We are currently measuring from the rear. I'm going to put that at 10 inches. And we are getting tens across the board. So that is a very accurate tool. And I also just noticed there is a little tether in the box. So if you want to make sure that you're not going to drop it, we can run that through there. And we will have a tether. So overall, very nice having a very tiny tool that is that effective. That is a very cool tool.